This is The Daily Profit, the show that literally prints money for you. I'm Frank with Linebaker Sports. Let's get into the highest probability plays for today. But before we get to that, guys, I'm giving $1,000 away every Friday. All you have to do is go down below and comment GOAT. All right, that's all you got to do. And every Friday, I'm going to select a random subscriber that commented, and you're going to get $1,000 in cash. So all you got to do is comment GOAT down below. Now, before we get to today's stuff, let's talk about this weekend. It was a big weekend, all right? Very big weekend. We had LeBron James right off the bat on the 25th. We had LeBron to go over 32.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He had an 87% probability for that to happen. He ended up getting 33 points, rebounds, and assists. So the numbers that I post in there, guys, they are very important. And that is a reason why I post those certain numbers. He only eclipsed that one by a half a point. Now onto the next one, we had Jordan Poole on the 26th. He had an 80% probability to go under 34 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. He eclipsed that one pretty easily, so there was no sweat there. Then on the 27th, which was yesterday, we had Tyreek Hill to go over 60 plus receiving yards. He had an 85.7% probability to do that. He went over that pretty easily. He got that, I think, by halftime he had that. And then, uh, unfortunately, for the Green Bay Packers, we had Jordan Love to go over 239 and a half passing yards, which he was really on pace for that. He had almost 200 yards at halftime, and then he got hurt, and they had to take him out. So nothing we could do about that one. That's just one of those bad beats there. On the 25th, we had Kevin Durant with an 86% probability to go over 29.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He soared over that one, so we got that one pretty easily. Then we had Devin Booker in that same game. He had an 85% probability to go over 29.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He ended up with 30. So he ended up exactly the same thing as LeBron. That was the same game. He only equips that by a half a point. So these numbers that I, pull, they, that I put up are crucial. They're crucial. I don't just put them up just to put them up. I put them up for a reason. And then we had the Edmonton Oilers' Leon Dreisaitl. He had an 81% probability to score a point. And he got that one in the second period. So that one was pretty easy. Now, we're not just done with just that. All right, let's talk about college football. College football, we swept the board in college football. We had Akron plus seven and a half. That one ended up hitting. We had Alabama, Missouri under 55 and a half. Alabama blew them out there, shut them down. That was easy. Alabama minus nine and a half. That one was easy. North Texas, Tulane over 64 and a half. That was a shootout. That one was easy as well. Virginia Tech minus five and a half. They won by two touchdowns. We swept the board with that stuff. So again, guys, if you guys are missing out on winning, you need to go down below and click in the description. Stop wasting your weekends losing and taking L's and hiding all your bets from your wives and your girlfriends. So click the, just click the link in the description and get inside the group so you can learn how to start winning. Now let's talk about today's stuff. We're going to start with Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown has a 74% probability to go under 37.5 points, rebounds, and assists. On to the next, in that same exact game, we got Jason Tatum. We've had this a couple times where we've paired both of these guys up for the under. All right, Jason Tatum, they keep making his number higher and higher and higher. So now we're at 72% probability for him to go under 47.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He really did not see that type of number last year at all for that combo stat of points, rebounds, and assists. He would hover around that 42.5 range. Now they've boosted all the way up to 47.5. So he has started out the year pretty, pretty good, but that is a high number. There's only a couple guys in the league that can eclipse that number, 47.5, because you need to compile points, rebounds, and assists for that. Now let's get to Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray, he has a 78% probability to go over 27.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Uh, he's got off to a slow start a little bit this year, but he should be able to pick it up here in this game. He's got somewhat of a favorable matchup, so he has a good possibility of eclipsing that 27.5 mark in this game. Let's talk about Wemby now. Wemby, he... I don't know why his number is always so high so far this season. Not too sure why. Last year, his number was more hovering around that 37.5, 38.5 range because he has the opportunity to be able to, you know, any game he could score 20 points, get 20 rebounds. But for him to get in that 44.5, 45, 46 range, 
it's tough because he needs to get assists as well, and he doesn't really get too many assists. He mainly just has rebounds and points. But he has a 76% probability to go under 43.5 points, rebounds, and assists. We had him a couple days ago under 44.5, and, and he only scored 27 points, rebounds, and assists. So, again, kind of going back to the well here with the same thing. All right. Now let's move on to LeBron. I told you guys LeBron. We had LeBron on Friday, I think it was. And he only eclipsed that number by a half of a point. Again, same matchup tonight. Same exact matchup. He's going against the Suns. He's got a 76% probability to go over 33.5. Now, we had 32.5 in that last game, and he had 33. Tonight, it's theirs. he would need at least 34 to be able to eclipse that number. So, same exact matchup. LeBron, played, he played a decent game. So, a decent game, and he ended up with 33. And he got that literally at the end of the quarter. Like, the Suns-Lakers game that we had a couple days ago, three of those props cashed in the last minute. So... That was a bit sweaty. Tonight, I expect this one to be the same. I don't think LeBron eclipses that in three quarters. I think it takes four quarters to be able to give him a shot to get over that 33 and a half. Now let's talk about Kevin Durant. Same game. Same thing we had last week as well with Kevin Durant. He has a 77% chance to go over 32.5 points, rebounds, and assists. His number went up a little bit. We had 30 pretty much in that game that he had against the Lakers. And he eclipsed that pretty easily. He was he was having a good game for sure. They upped it a little bit now to 32 and a half. Not too bad. I mean, it's not crazy. That's just one three pointer pretty much to to get over that mark. So a decent shot for Kevin Durant if he has a good game. The only problem with having the same players on the same teams like going with Booker and Durant is if one goes off, it hurts the other. You know, it's very hard for both of them to go off. If both of them go off, then it's a chance that they're blowing out the team. So, kind of hard when you have two of the same players pretty much on the same team and, you know, you're betting the over on their PRA. But, out of both Booker and Durant, I would say usage-wise, Durant is more, he's higher in the usage category. So, 77% chance for him to go over 32.5, not too bad. All right. Now, let's talk about the F-bombs. All right. I got an 87%. NBA prop, an 86% NBA prop, an 80% NBA prop, a 76% NHL prop, and an 80% NFL prop. If you guys are interested and you want those, you click the link in the description and join the group. It's that simple. All right, it's that simple. You log in there, you get to see those plays, and you go and play some. And guess what? Most, more likely, you're going to end up winning. All right, so simple as that. Again, the $1,000 giveaway for $1,000 Fridays. Comment GOAT down below. Every Friday, I'm going to select a random subscriber that commented throughout the week. We do the show Monday through Friday, so you have Monday through Friday to comment. Make sure you comment GOAT, and I'm going to choose a winner, and you're going to get $1,000 cash to pretty much use for the weekend. You know, you could use for betting on the weekend stuff. So make sure you guys go and do that. It's very important if you want to win some money. All right, let's go through the list one more time. Jalen Brown, 74% probability to go under 37.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Jason Tatum, 72% to go under 47.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Jamal Murray, 78% probability to go over 27.5 PRA. Wemby, 76% probability to go under 43.5 PRA. LeBron, 76% probability to go over 33.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Kevin Durant, 77% probability to go over 32.5 points, rebounds, and assists. As always, guys, I'm Frank with Linemaker Sports. This is the Daily Profit. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's show. Till then, I'm out.